Hello and welcome to Mind Rules. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Also, you can hit me up on Instagram. The link will be on the screen. Today's story is from Newcastle, where a dangerous sex predator raped and beat a woman after forcing his way into her home during a power cut. A savage rapist subjected a terrifying mum to a brutal attack after forcing his way into her home during a power cut while her children was upstairs. Violent sex offender David Sarah pushed the victim onto the floor in her hallway behind the front door and subjected her to a shocking ordeal she fears she may never recover from. Newcastle Crown Court heard the attack happen late at night when the woman opened her door thinking it was workmen who had knocked. The court heard the victim was left feeling broken and hollow and contemplating suicide. She now struggles to trust and fear she may never recover from the psychological impact of the ordeal. David, who is described as threatening, aggressive and manipulative, has serious convictions on his record. In 2009, he was jailed for 42 months for four robberies. In 2014, he grabbed a mobile phone from a girl he was walking home from school who thought he had a weapon down his trousers. In 2016, he robbed a woman approaching her from behind and telling her he had a knife. She ran off, he chased her and said he was going to stab her. In 2018, he was jailed for 27 months for stabbing a man in the neck after he had told him to calm down as he was arguing with his girlfriend. Now this man was no stranger to David. They had been friends for many years. The night of the stabbing, they had both been socialising all night until a row blew up in the early morning on a stairway over platforms at Jarrow Metro Station where it ended up with David sticking a blade in his friend's neck. The court heard David refused to speak to a probation officer to compile a pre-sentence report. David, 35, of Nailsworth Close, Bolden, Colliery, was jailed for 12 and a half years after biting and raping the terrified victim. As well as the prison sentence, he will be subject to a lifelong restraining order banning him from contacting the victim or going on her street. I am sure this restraining order is referring to the street the incident took place in and also any other street she may live in the future. As I could only imagine, the address where the attack took place would be the last place she would want to be. And to be quite honest, no one could really blame her. I really do hope the victim can get her life back to some sort of normality, as I can't even imagine what horrendous effects this has had on her. I'm sure her family and friends will be there to help her through this. And if anyone is going through anything similar to this, just remember, you don't have to deal with this all on your own. Just reach out and tell someone. And if you feel that you can't tell a family member or a friend, there are many online groups that are more than willing to help you. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think 12 and a half years was too much, too little? for the crime that he committed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and like always, I hope to see you in my next video.